there is a clear causal link between the rise of social media and the harm for the mental health of young Australians. And indeed, not just young Australians, this is an issue that governments around the world are grappling with. And can I say, when I was talking with uh, leaders of uh, European and North American and other countries in, in our own region as well, including Prime Minister Luxon of New Zealand uh, last week, uh, they are all looking at what we are doing and they are applauding what we are doing in showing leadership in this area. We know that social media can be a weapon for bullies, a platform for peer pressure, a driver of anxiety, a vehicle for scammers, and worst of all, a tool for online predators. And because it is young Australians who are most engaged with this technology, it is young Australians who are most at risk. And that's why we want to set the minimum age for social media at 16. Because as we develop and mature, we're better at spotting the fakes and the dangers. We build up the mental resilience to ignore the worst of the nastiness. I've seen people point out that nowhere else in the world has this been done yet. And that's true. But I also know that every serious government in the world is grappling with this issue and looking to take action. Equally, I've seen people say the law won't fix everything and it won't work in every situation. That's correct. You can't have perfect law in an area like this relating to technology that will work 100 per cent perfectly 100 per cent of the time. But we can't make perfection a barrier to action. 